I'm skipping the cold open for this segment of Is This Real? Because you already know what the video is about. You saw the title. Anyway, now look at this clip I found from C-SPAN. So I will draw one canister, Madam Vice Chair will draw a second canister. This boring proceeding of white people is the final result of a Virginia election that caused Republican David Yancey to defeat Democrat Shelley Simons and win election to the House of Delegates in Virginia. In 2017, yeah, you're seeing this right, they are pulling names out of a bowl! The winner of House District 94 is... David Yancey. I thought this was democracy, not randomocracy. The election was decided by pulling names out of a bowl because it was a tie. It was the fairest way they felt that they could decide. So, does your vote matter? Is this real? <laughs> Okay, I sort of lied about the cold open. I did use it, but look, it's great. I built it, it took a while, I'm gonna use it. Elections are a tough time for a lot of people. We're expected to research and listen, weigh different options and complicated policies and avoid propaganda. And what we really wanna do is, actually, I don't know what people really wanna do. I'm a government nerd, I wanna be doing that. Are we still on pizza? I think we're on tacos now, are we on tacos? Okay, what we really wanna do is eat tacos. Am I hip now? Am I cool? And every election season, another story appears, advocating that you not vote at all because of your political persuasion, your personal views, where you live, your race, your sexuality, or because some of those, plus they say it just doesn't matter. Which can be true depending on why you're voting. Scientifically, chances that you're voting matter, according to a paper about the 2012 election, was at best one in 10 million and at worst one in 60 million. So I called the lead researcher on that paper, Dr. Andrew Gelman at Columbia, and I asked him, does my vote not matter? Well, if, it, if you have a race where it's expected to be very close, then your vote has a bigger chance of mattering. So sure, I mean, my you can have a race for mayor or governor or senator or, or whatever, which is expected to be extremely close. And if it's expected to be close, then your vote is more likely to make a difference. Commonly, the people who study this are economists or statisticians, and they're thinking of it mathematically in the payoff. When people say that your vote doesn't matter, the math or science is saying that it doesn't make a lot of sense if you're trying to decide the election. Your vote always counts, but one vote might not matter if you're thinking of it as decisive, as the vote that breaks a tie. But is that why you vote? Do you cast a ballot so that you are the decisive tie-breaking vote? Because if so, that is a shock to me. Like, I'm, sh I'm shook, am I shook? Is this what shook is? Civics isn't about winning, it's about expression. Obviously, somebody has to win, but the expression of a view is just as important as exercising power over that view. Now, Dr. Gelman did say something that I didn't expect here. We sometimes say that voting is like buying a lottery ticket, but if you win, the prize doesn't go to you, it goes to the whole country. So voting is not a selfish act, because to vote is to have a small chance of making a big difference in a lot of people's lives. If you were to say, well, I want to vote because this candidate's going to cut my taxes, that's kind of silly because your chance of your vote making a difference is so small. But if you were to say, I want to vote because I think this candidate will be good for the country, that's a big deal. It is a big deal. Voting is a selfless act. You vote for you, but you also vote for others. That's how the United States works. In 1782, Congress added e pluribus unum, from many one, to our money and to the great seal of the United States. It was, in fact, our de facto motto until the 1950s, until we changed it because we were afraid of communism, but that's neither here nor there. The US was always about power in numbers. So is this real? Yeah, it kind of is. One vote may not always be decisive in a national election, but it always counts. It always means something. According to Gelman, the smaller the election, the more power your individual vote has, even if the reach of that policy or person might not be as big. Remember, not all elections are national. Some are local or regional. And if you live in smaller states, those are even more powerful. And even in big states, ballot propositions, local elections, state legislatures, you should be looking at those elections just as strongly, even though they aren't featured on cable news. U.S. elections have been decided by coin flips and by drawing straws. Ties happen, not often, 
but they do happen. In 1977, the first black mayor of Ann Arbor, Michigan was elected by one vote out of 21,000. In 2008, Alaska Republican Mike Kelly kept his seat in the state legislature by one vote. The 19th Amendment, giving women the right to vote, was ratified in the state of Tennessee, the last state needed for ratification, by one vote. More Perfect tells this story amazingly well, so go listen to it. But let me wrap with this. It's the expression that's important, and you practice this even if you don't vote because you watch TV and you talk to the characters and you cheer. Come on sports. Uh. They can't hear you. That's irrational. But would you stop? Of course you wouldn't. Anyone can easily argue that shouting for sports matters way less than voting. But in the end, a single raindrop does not create a flood. A single photon does not light a room. Use whatever analogy you want. The volume of expression is what affects change. And in my opinion, if you're only voting to prove that your vote matters, that you're decisive, then you're voting wrong. Decisions are made by those who show up. And if you choose not to show up because you believe that your vote doesn't matter, guess what? You're right. However, if you choose to show up because you believe your vote matters, you're right. And that's what's real. Thank you so much for watching. Join the Nerd Fam. You can find me on Patreon. You can subscribe here on the channel. And get out there and vote. Get your friends to vote. Drive people to the polls. Do whatever you can. To... <laughs> <laughs> kind of giving away my feelings about this with this shirt, huh? No matter who you vote for, just vote.